buried in top secret armored underground bunkers deep beneath the Army Chaplain's Assistant School at Fort Wadsworth is America's elite counter-terrorist strike force, codenamed G.I. Joe. The most fearsome rapid deployment team of all stands ready to fight anywhere, anytime, anyway. Monday, 0830 hours, somewhere between New York City and Washington, D.C. I don't like it. Soldiers and secret servicemen crawling all over my train just to protect one special passenger. So, who is she anyway? Don't you read the papers? Dr. Adele Burkhardt is the nation's top nuclear physicist. One of the brains behind the Doomsday Project. <laughs> yeah, I've heard of her. She claims she didn't know it was a Doomsday Project. And now she's supposed to testify in front of some kind of congressional committee. No wonder your people are so nervous. Check every inch of every car, twice. Half the wackos in this country are out to waste that lady in the press car. Yeah, and the other half want to make her president. Listen. He's already begun the press conference. In other words, I was deliberately misled as to the true nature of the project. The Doomsday Project has a single goal, the development of a retaliatory weapon system capable of annihilating all life on this planet. It is unthinkable that a person of conscience could... Wait. What's that sound? The fools were totally unprepared for a surprise attack. Concentrate your fire on the soldiers. The Baroness will take care of the Secret Service. Strike now, brothers. Take Burkhart alive. Yes, Baroness. Those reporters, they've got guns disguised as cameras. Get that one, Dr. Burkhart. No hands. Too many civilians. Can't get a clear shot. Oh, sit back, So the Baroness can drop the all right, I got your precious Dr. Burkhardt now. Back off or I'll turn her face into a fine red mist. Do as she says. It's obvious they only want me. I'll not have any more innocent blood shed on my account. Shut up. You're making my trigger finger itch. Trigger, hold these pigs off while the good doctor and I powder our noses. As you command, Baroness. Ugh, this is hopeless. You'll never get off this train. Hold still. If these straps are tight, you'll dislocate your shoulders. When I activate the gas canister. I hope you're not afraid of heights, Dr. Burkhardt. This particular model doesn't come equipped with air sickness veins. That cable will take us to my friends. You're right on schedule, Baroness! Of course. Radio the airfield. We rendezvous with the supersonic transport in 10 minutes. didn't just get hit this time, it got smothered. Burkhart has more dangerous secrets rattling around in her pretty little head than the Russians have tanks. Those secrets are useless without the necessary backup technology. That's the problem, Flag. Roll that footage of the press car powder room. The stuff we didn't release to the press. Yes, sir. Burkhart is in the hands of Cobra Command. They have the technology and the will to use it. Their threat doesn't make any sense, sir. We'd almost be better off, national security-wise, if we attempt a rescue, bungle it, and Cobra, uh, terminates her. Don't believe it, General Flag. We're in a double bind. We can't let Cobra keep her long enough to use her, and we can't let her die because the whole world knows that we consider her an embarrassment. Our only possible course of action is a successful rescue. It won't be easy. Cobra has legions well-trained, equipped with all the latest hardware. A direct frontal assault could turn into a bloodbath for our boys. General Austin, we have no alternative. We'll have to call in special counter-terrorist group Delta, codenamed G.I. Joe. You're a good officer, Flag, and you'll make a good politician someday. You let an old brass hat gab his head off when you've had all the shots covered from the beginning. Sergeant, let's see these G.I. Joe dossiers that General Flag had you compile this morning. I've got the basic readout standing by on the display board, sir. Complete service records can be available on a printout within 10 seconds. 
Who's going to honcho this mission in the field? Colonel Clayton M. Abernathy. Codename Hawk. He's the best man we have. Oh, yes. How lucky is he? Just my luck. Catch a driver with a lead foot. Slow down, Clutch. This isn't Asbury Park, and we're not on Thunder Road. With all due respect to your rank, Colonel Abernathy, sir, I've got orders from General Flagg to deliver your Class A colonelship to G.I. Joe Command Center, ASAP, as soon as possible. Young General Flagg hasn't worn out his first set of khakis yet. The orders were countersigned by General Austin. Old Iron Bud Austin? Step on it, Clutch, or we'll both be facing a court-martial. Grand Slam and Zap were just saying it's about time you threw a surprise inspection. Negative, rock and roll. We've been called together for another mission. Steeler, is everyone else downstairs? Affirmative. According to the schedule, A-Team should be in the middle of individual weapons training. I'll send you straight down to join them at the staging level. Grand Slam, we must be the only motor pool in the world with a hydraulic lift that goes down. As well as the only one with five floors of armored basement under it. Last stop, tanks, laser cannons, and G.I. Joe Combat Training Center. At ease! All team members will report for briefing in the briefing room in five minutes. Looks like we've got another hot mission, Breaker. They're all hot missions, Scarlet. I bet it's the Burkhart kidnapping. They're gonna risk all of us to rescue a woman who's practically a traitor. How's that sit with you, Snake Eyes? Can I quote you on that? Cobra has Dr. Burkhart stashed on an island in the Caribbean. We ran a Blackbird mission over it and shot this high-resolution hologram. We're almost certain they're holding Burkhart in this old Spanish fort. Almost on the counts in horseshoes and hand grenades, Hawk. There's a pulse Doppler radar on this mountain that can spot a hang glider clear to the horizon. Surface to air missile sites are all over the place. Cobra is prepared for anything. Getting in will be very hairy. Strength of garrison? A full battalion, 1,200 men. The perimeter is heavy with concertina wire, mines, tank traps, and machine gun bunkers. Presence of high voltage cables means they've got a heavy generator, which could mean that the fencing is electrified. Sorry, I asked. Grunt, stalker, and short fuse. You will take out the airfield, tower, and hangar, leaving one small aircraft intact. Flash and breaker will take care of the radar. Mission supply will fix you up with some special black boxes. Scarlet and Snake Eyes will knock out the generator in the fort. Your objective is to clear the way for the secondary team that will actually storm the fort. This is the only known photo of Cobra Commander. We don't know much about him, but if he's personally in charge of this operation, the odds against us double. This is the Baroness. Don't ever turn your back on her, unless she's dead. Even then, I'd search her for grenades. We all know this woman. The media painted a pretty black picture of her, but inflammatory headlines help sell newspapers, right? Hawk, are you trying to tell me she ain't no traitor? Calm down, Short Fuse. We each took an oath to defend the Constitution of the United States. That Constitution guarantees the right of every citizen to disagree with the government. Snake Eyes is signaling me that he wants to know, how can the rights of an individual compare to the safety of the entire world? Wouldn't a B-52 bombing raid solve this problem with less risk? No! We're the good guys, remember? The island has a civilian population. Besides, it's not our job to judge Dr. Burkhardt. What is our job? We're soldiers. Our job is to follow orders, to do the impossible, and make it look easy. I trust you are uncomfortable, Dr. Burkhardt. I admit the straps are excruciatingly tight, but they will prevent you from injuring yourself when we begin the information extraction procedure. You are familiar with the rather disagreeable side effects of scapolamine and other so-called truth serums? You'll never get a chance to use your filthy drugs on me. 
This whole island is going to be bombed off the map at any moment. Really, Dr. Burkhart? Who would do such a thing? Who do you think? A government that would sponsor something as reprehensible as the Doomsday Project isn't going to think twice about vaporizing a whole island to preserve its precious secrets. Doctor, this situation is far more complex than you believe. That which seems mindless is often precisely choreographed. Don't you agree, Baroness? It's always best to let your opponents think they know what you're up to. Cobra Commander! Radar has spotted a submarine on the surface, 20 miles north of the island. It was there just long enough to launch a small boat and landing party. Excellent! Dispatch two heavy weapons platoons to cover the North Beach. And on their way, they can stop at the fishing village to carry out the contingency plan. My dear Dr. Burkhart, you will soon see the distinct advantages of having no scruples whatsoever. Do you see anything through those image intensifiers, Grunt? Yeah, I see another pair of intensifiers staring straight back at me. Looks like Cobra's having a heavy hardware party on the beach. We're the guests. Time for Stalker to put a rocket in his pocket and crash their back. Ain't no lie, I love to fly. Hurry up and strap on that jump. Jet, mobile, propulsion, unit. Another 50 yards and they'll be in range. Wait! Take cover! They launch some sort of rocket at us! Say hey! Just thought I'd drop by and lighten up your party with some fireworks. Stalker's got them on the run. Gun that out. We're going in. You missed my grand finale. I was the stars and stripes forever. By using this laser blaster, I strapped the beach in time to the kettle drum parts. <laughs> Looks like the party's over, gang. The host took their goodies and went home. They'll be back in force. Head for the tree line. We've got to get into the jungle and undercover. There was nothing in Hawk's plans about being found out so early. Does that change anything, Flash? Negative, Stalker. We proceed to our individual targets as planned. Hawk wasn't kidding. This mission's so hairy, it's got dandruff. Your troops turned tail and ran, Commander. The American intruder team escaped without a scratch. <laughs> we, we were outgunned, sir. They had some sort of portable air support. We were completely surprised. Not as surprised as I. I hadn't expected any of you to survive. This G.I. Joe team is less efficient than I thought. They're far too efficient for my taste. I say we kill the hostage now and send out fire teams to sweep the whole island. No, my good Baroness. That's exactly what they want us to do. This initial landing is a feint to draw my troops away from the fort so that they can set up for a heavy assault which will land on a closer beach. We have Dr. Bogart. Therefore, they must come to us. And when they arrive, they will find the fort at full strength. Breaker, what makes our mission planning honcho so sure that this is the spot where the underground electrical cable runs? Simple flash. This is an unmanned radar site. The power source and the radar screens must be in the fort. Draw a straight line between the radar and the fort and you've got... Bad news. That's no cable. That's quarter inch steel pipe. Breaker, you may be a whiz with communication equipment, but otherwise you're a real dummy. The cable's inside the pipe. What do we do now? We're a thousand miles from the nearest acetylene torch. I don't even have my P38, my GI can opener, with me. Stand back, Breaker. This will be real touchy. I can't be off by a hair, but anything a torch can do. My laser rifle can do better. <laughs> Flash, you have more nerve than brains. If you'd severed that live cable, this whole mission would have been blown. But I didn't. So tell me how these gadgets of yours work. We tap into this line and record a tape loop of their all-clear radar signal, and then we play it back continuously. The Seventh Fleet could sail in, and the Cobra radar scopes would show nothing but empty sea. Like I said, you're a whiz. There she is, Snake Eyes. That's Dr. Burkhardt. You may not do much talking, but I know what you're thinking. One well-placed shot, and we could scrub this mission and be home free. 
But that's the easy way. And if this job was supposed to be easy, G.I. Joe wouldn't have gotten it. This can be like shooting ducks in a pond, Grunt. I don't like it. It's too easy. What do you think, Stalker? It stinks! I'm no worse than the rest of this lousy mission. This is the Hydrofoil LCT landing craft tank that will land Force 2, the heavy assault team on Cold Island. There are only six men in that team. Do you expect them to spearhead straight through the front door of the fort? Yes, sir. Opposition should be minimal. The airfield diversion will bleed troops to the other end of the island. And if the diversion fails? Our men are on their own. All the way. Hark! We're too far away to see anything. Why bother looking? There's a fireworks display scheduled for that airstrip at 2100 hours. And that's just about... Now! Drop it on them, short fuse. <laughs> I still think this was too easy. They didn't even put up a fight. I ain't gonna complain about it. Airstrip bunker team reporting. Everything is going according to plan. The intruders destroyed the dummy planes by motor attack. One light aircraft left intact. Over. Constant radar check on the Southern Sea approaches. Nothing out there for 150 miles, sir. Oh, who goes there? Stalker, Grunt, and Short Fuse. The airstrip's been neutralized. Ditto the radar. We still have an ambush to set up. Let's go. Commander, they've already destroyed the airstrip, and yet you still refuse to kill the hostage. If you have a master plan, I demand to be informed of it. Patience, Baroness. But Cobra's credibility is worthless unless we carry out our threat to kill her now. Go ahead and get it over with. I'm not going to help you anyway. All in good time, Dr. Burkhart. One must defer pleasures if one wishes to savor them. Commander, the G.I. Joe Heavy Assault Team has landed. Splendid. Rock and roll! Take the right wing! Clutch and grand slam! Take the left! We hear you, Hawk! Steeler! You, Zap, and I are rolling right up the middle! Fall back! Nothing can stop them! They're slashing through the wire and breaking inside the perimeter! Get back, Cobra! Rock and roll is here to stay! I'd like to say it's skill and determination, Grand Slam, but it's mostly stock fear and blind luck. Their penetration team has just blown the main generators. Baroness, I believe it's time to fill you in on my game plan. Do you plan to kill Dr. Burkhart now? No! Dr. Burkhart is due at the airfield! Have a staff car and escort stand by to transport her. Uh, I, I don't believe it. Cobra wiped out the entire village. Women and kids. Everybody. They did it to keep them from helping us. It's our fault. If we hadn't come here... Calm down, Flash. It's not our fault. But we should do the decent thing and bury him. Wrong, Breaker. We're not burying anyone, no matter how innocent they were. We got an ambush to set. If we take time out to clean up this mess, we might as well call Cobra right now and tell him we're bugging out. Grand Slam, I've spotted three Cobra tanks in column formation. Well, I've got you covered, Steeler. You can have dibs on the first two. Thanks, pal. 
Be careful. We've got infantry running through the bush here. Go, oh, sweet. I'll clean up the last day. Or rock and roll gets his acting gear. I'll play him a solo. A blast from the past called Wait are to deliver the woman to the airfield. We shall not fail! Hang loose, Dr. Bernhardt! I'll get you out of there in a second! We figured Cobra would try to get you off the island via the airfield if we made it hot enough for him. What we didn't figure out, kid, was the fact that you were doomed from the beginning. The Baroness! Everything is running according to plan, Dr. Burkhart. I knew that I wouldn't have the time to extract the Doomsday Plan from you, unless I had neutralized the one force that had any chance of effecting a rescue. So I used you to lure the G.I. Joe team into a trap! I shall now don my special combat helmet. When the entire team is inside this castle, I shall Activate the five minute timer on my watch that will detonate five tons of high explosives which is buried under the fort. Of course we shall be well away in my helicopter by that time. The main gate's down! Let's roll! The fort is ours! Rocket launcher at six o'clock! Get him, Zap! Consider him scared, Steeler. Ditch the tank. We'll hit your ride with clutch and grand slam. Hustle it. Things must be getting hot for Scarlet and Snake Eyes by now. I should have been here by now. We can't wait any longer, Snake Eyes. We'll have to go after the Cobra Commander without support. <gasps> Dr. Burkhart. But, but we saw her drive out the rear gate to the airfield. Appearances can be deceiving, my lady. Please drop your weapons, or I shall be forced to terminate the life functions of the good doctor here. You haven't got a chance, Commander. The entire G.I. Joe team is right behind us. I'm sure they are. But I sincerely doubt even your illustrious team can penetrate 12 inches of case-hardened steel in time to be any use. That door is sliding down, cutting us off from the others. Show. We got the Baroness instead. We're Scarlet and Snake Eyes. Hawk, I cased the whole fort. There's no sign of Burkhart, Scarlet, or Snake Eyes. But there's a locked steel door up there that satchel charges won't scratch. Indeed. I assure you that we won't be disturbed. Now that you've dropped your weapons, you will kindly step to the far wall. The good doctor and I shall board our aircraft and depart. This activator will unlock the steel door in five minutes. No, it's a trap. That's no door timer. Stop it, you fool. You'll ruin everything. They could have saved themselves if not for me. I won't be responsible for their deaths. I won't let you kill them. He, he shot Dr. Burkhart, but he won't get away with it. Myris! Man, I don't care what Grand Slam says, I ain't hauling that laser cannon back down those stairs after this. Cool it, rock and roll. Looks like we're too late. Scarlet, Snake Eyes, you okay? Yes, and so is Burkhart. Her arm's in pretty bad shape, but it'll heal. You, you could have left me to, to die, but you risked your own life to see mine. I had presumed so many horrible things about you and the army. I guess I forgot that no one has a monopoly on scruples. Thank you, all of you. Oh my god, the timer! This whole fort is going up in less than five minutes! Don't worry, we'll have old Cobra himself defuse it. Hey, where is he? I put him next to the Baroness just a second ago. There! Blood from his wounded hand! That floor panel must open up on a hidden passage. Time's running out. We'll never get down the stairs and out the gate in time. Quick! Everybody into the chopper! Zap, you're driving! Hawk, 
I haven't pushed a joystick on a chopper in two years. Relax. It's like riding a bike. You never forget. Oh yeah? I used to follow my bike all the time. My tank. My G. My motorcycle. Don't sweat it, guys. General Austin will be glad to buy you all a new set of wheels when we show up with Dr. Burkle. I'd like to thank you all again. I still feel that all of my political actions were justified, but at least I know now that somewhere in the Pentagon, there are people that care. You'll have to take the stick for this whole trip, Baroness. My hand is completely useless. Shall I plot the course for our true headquarters, Commander? Yes! This endeavor has ended in failure. We must rest.